Hello everyone, Jen here, Golden State Times, and today we have a breaking news story. And the title says, Congress rebukes Obama, overrides veto of 9-11 legislation. This comes courtesy of the Associated Press. And it goes on to say that in a resounding rebuke, Democrats joined the Republicans Wednesday to hand Barack Obama his first veto override of his presidency voting overwhelmingly to allow families of September 11 victims to sue Saudi Arabia in U.S. courts for its alleged backing of the attackers. Both the House and the Senate voted decisively to reverse Obama's decision to scuttle the legislation. Democrats in both chambers abandoned the president in large numbers despite warnings from the Obama and national security officials that flaws in the bill could put U.S. interest, troops, and intelligence personnel at risk. The Senate vote was 97 to 1 with only one Senate minority leader, Harry Reid, Democrat of Nevada, backing the president. The House vote a few hours later was 348 to 77, with 123 Democrats rebuffing the president and voting to override. Lawmakers said their priority wasn't Saudi Arabia, but the 9-11 victims and their families who continue to demand justice 15 years after, uh, after the attackers killed nearly 3,000 people in New York the Washington, D.C. area, and Pennsylvania. Fifteen of the 19 September 11 hijackers were Saudis. So yeah, guys, that's what happened. Both the House and the Senate voted to override Barack Obama. He is losing backing from everyone, even from his own party. So now the 9-11 victims and their families will have the justice that they deserved. Saudi Arabia is extremely wealthy. Now it's time for them to make, to prepare to make things a little bit better for those victims. We applaud both the Democrats and the Republicans that voted for this. Because they know deep down that this will help those families just a little bit more. This will never change what happened. But we hope that this helps them in one way. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. We hope that you guys like this report. If you did, please hook us up with a thumbs up. And uh, also share this report. And uh, make sure that you guys uh, join us for the next Trump rally. All of the information is on our channel. And uh, also make sure you go and check out our previous videos and stay tuned for our future ones. If you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay up to date on the real news. Stuff that you will not see on the mainstream media. So yeah, guys, thank you very much. Like I said, if you like this report, hook us up with the thumbs up. Subscribe and share. Thank you very much. Hope to see you guys next time. But until then, peace.